Okay, so please lie on your back and let's do it with the knees bent to start and your arms are going to stay down alongside your torso. And as you lie down, get comfortably positioned and give yourself three or four breath cycles to feel that you're transitioning from whatever you've been doing into this opportunity here, which is a time to reset neurologically, physiologically, mentally, spiritually, psychologically. And then I'm gonna ask you to start with a really simple pelvic tilt action with the breath. But what I want you to notice is that the whole spine will respond to these pelvic tilts. In fact, that your chin and your head will also have responses when you're doing this. So when you next inhale, tip your tailbone down and your lower back will arch up away from the floor. That's called an anterior tilt. And when you exhale, lengthen your tailbone, tip your lumbar spine down towards the floor and that's called a posterior tilt. And smoothly inhale to your anterior tilt and smoothly exhale to the posterior tilt. And do that slowly and thoughtfully, watching that the breath is the guide. Your body and your spine will follow your breath. And allow the movement of your pelvis to also be the movement of the spine. In other words, you'll feel the whole spine responding to anterior, and posterior tilt of your pelvis. And so each time you tilt the pelvis into that little back bend, anterior tilt, and each time you tip your pelvis a little bit posterior, the whole spine responds. We're going to add to your sequence here. So you inhale anterior tilt. And then exhale posterior tilt. Inhale, roll your hips up to a half bridge pose. And exhale, roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. And then inhale, roll the tailbone down, anterior tilt. And exhale, posterior tilt, so your lumbar spine comes down against the floor. Inhale, roll up, bridge pose, half bridge pose. Good. Exhale, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. You arrive on the floor with your posterior tilt. Inhale, transition to your anterior tilt. Tailbone down, lumbar spine arching. Once more through the cycle, exhale, posterior tilt. Inhale, roll up, half bridge pose. Good. Exhale, roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And then inhale, anterior tilt. And exhale, relax. Let the spine and your pelvis become neutral. Now float your knees up towards your chest without the use of your hands. And so now when we inhale, we're gonna take the knees away from the chest and allow the lower back to arch. When we exhale, we're gonna hug the knees towards the chest using the belly muscles and the lower back will come down towards the floor. So inhale, knees away from the chest, arch your lower back a little bit. And exhale, squeeze in, knees towards your chest, keeping the knees together and lifted as they come in. Inhale, knees drift away from the chest, but without your feet touching the floor. Exhale, roll your knees back in, 
towards your chest and your heart. Squeeze the breath out using your low belly. Inhale, knees away from the chest. Lower back arching gently. And exhale, knees towards your chest. Squeeze the low belly. Good. And then inhale, knees away from your chest. Little arch to the lower back. And last one, exhale to roll your knees in towards your chest. And then lightly touch your feet back down and stretch both legs out to straighten them. Separate your feet a couple of inches left to right. Maybe let's say six to 10 inches apart. Now relax your arms, your fingers, even your head. We're gonna be using the feet to give your whole body a sort of rhythmic reset. And what you do here is with the heels, you pump the toes, um, pointing, less pointing, pointing, less pointing, pointing, less pointing, making a little rhythm. So um, what you're gonna do is pretty rhythmic. So it's gonna be faster, not slower. And the heels are doing it. So try it a couple times so I can see what you're able to do. So faster than that, Christine. So you pump the heels on the floor and the whole body should be following. So rock the heels. Yeah, and the whole body responds and you can make it rhythmic. Not so important how far you point the toes, but important that you have a consistent rhythm and that you're really moving the heels to move your body. The toes are extra. And then let's make the rhythm a little bit faster. Rhythmically, okay for you, but tiny bit faster. We're loosening tension from the body. So think of it like when you're shaking off stress. Okay, you're doing a good job. I'm gonna do one more minute. It's a little bit faster. It should be comfortable within your own pace, but a little faster. Yep, so all the muscles in the spine, they also get to relax in response to this little rocking. Almost done. 20 seconds more. Ten seconds. And then let everything get very still. Right? You stop and let everything get still. And what you might notice is like a little effervescence, a little shimmer inside the body. You've asked for circulation and innervation to be refreshed. Just gently watch the process of that slowing itself down now. Effervescence will become quiet and you'll come back to homeostasis. And now I'm gonna ask you to rock the heels again at the same pace, but really slowly, you're gonna turn your head to your right and your left at the same time. So what you're doing is the legs have this pace of their own, rocking, rocking, and your head turns very slowly right and very slowly left, so that those are really different paces. The head slow and thoughtful, your heels rocking your body rhythmically. We're asking for this reset, this neurological reset. Do one minute more. Notice how the two paces are different, but kind of they can be compatible. You're rocking the heels at a certain rhythm and the head goes slowly left and slowly right. About 20 seconds more. Notice how it is to keep track of both rhythms. 10 more seconds. And 
And then you can bring that to a close when it feels like it's good timing for your nose to come back to center. And as you lie still, watch again this effervescence, this kind of inside shimmer that happens. And then if you set this up to be just so, you'd have a large spatula to just lift you and place you onto your neck roll and your bolster. Or you'd be able to do like a martial arts roll, a martial arts roll where you'd arrive with your neck and your knees on your bolster and your blanket roll, or you have to scoot over manually. <laughs> yeah, so a neck roll for your neck and a bolster for your knees. Great. Allow the shoulders to get comfortable down against the floor and just check for yourself that the neck roll is a size that lets your neck feel totally supported, but you do have just a very slight sense of the throat is open, not closed. And I'm going to ask you now to visualize the neurological pathways in your body. You don't need to know them at all, what they are. Just visualize these neurological pathways as if they were open country roads on a sunny day with no traffic in front, no traffic behind open, winding country roads, sometimes a slight hill, sometimes a slight decline. Imagine the nervous system pathways in your body, like these open country roads. Gate, gate. Imagine the nerve pathways in your body. They are these tranquil, open country roads, like through the pastures, the grasslands, sometimes a rolling hill, sometimes a slight decline, 
No traffic in front of you, nothing behind you. No destination, no goal in mind. Gate, gate. Parasom gate Parasom gate Welcoming awareness of the circulatory pathways, larger and smaller veins and arteries. And imagine these circulatory pathways like a varied numbers of rivers, streams, rippling brooks in the body, all moving clearly, cleanly with tranquility. And though no river, no brook or stream knows its destination, it continues to flow with an inner sense of faith. That is what it must do, bubbling along without urgency or haste. Gate, gate. Para gate. Para som gate. Para som gate. Oh, 
Tara Som Gate. You know, imagining these open country roads, these tranquil, quiet rivers, and the inner pathways, what yoga calls the subtle body, meridians, nadis. These subtle body pathways through which chi and prana are moving through you. You can imagine them as luminous, clear, unobstructed, moving at just the right pace, in alignment with the natural world and with your dosha, your constitution. Imagine these subtle pathways, nadis, meridians, clear, unobstructed. Gate, gate, tara gate, tara som gate. Tara som gate. Welcoming just a gentle sense of awareness. Here you are in the present moment. Innervation, respiration, the subtle body, the inner healing power of chi and prana. Your senses your inner intelligence, your inner wisdom. That in you which deeply knows your well-being, your freedom is tied to everything and everyone. We can say on behalf of all others, may there be ease, may the suffering lessen, may the discord dissolve, may there be ease and reciprocity 
dignity, mutuality for all beings everywhere. You may lightly deepen your breathing. And gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. If you're ready to, you can then just quietly bend the elbows so your hands go up towards the ceiling. Then drop the hands and arms out to the side and see if the shoulders will allow for that rolling open. Bring one knee up to your chest and then the other. And as you roll to one side, pick up the arm that you're gonna cross the body with and roll to meet the other arm. And you can just gently press yourself back up to sitting. When you come up, keep your attention sort of collected inwardly. You can just imagine when you're upright for a few moments. Now, how would it be to move about daily life with your nervous system like these open country roads, circulation like these beautiful rivers in nature? And the chi or prana in your body unobstructed. You can bring your hands together at your heart. And you can sing once with me if you like. Gate, gate, para gate. Parasom gate. Parasom gate. Boris Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste. You are feeling some renewal. Oh, I see the dog. <laughs>